I think player care is still a really new industry. I mean, literally the first professional role was in 20, 2001. And so we're still at the beginning part of this of this industry and trying to just raise awareness, get people to buy into it as, as a real thing that can help and can help individuals and teams uh, is really important. And as that grows, just like medical did and data-driven uh, performance analytics did in the, recently, hopefully player care could be the next big step in football that will really go forward and, and make a difference. It's the mental well-being and the mental health side that still can make massive improvements, as it can in society, but I think elite athletes are much more susceptible to that because of their identity, um, just because of you know, the mood buzz you get from training, being in the changing room, being around you know, 20 different athletes just like you, but also recognise that we've come a, a, a heck of a long way. The most important change for player welfare really is about the fact that we need to be um, looking at things that are away from just winning the next game. There's got to be that environment that uh, a player feels safe to express when things aren't going right, to be able to access the right support at the right time from the right professional. Um, but really the fact that people are taking player welfare seriously and listening to what's happening, um, it'll only improve in the future. So with regards to that mental health and you know the word vulnerability, no sports person wants to consider themselves to be vulnerable. It's actually quite the opposite. As we say, they're elite sports people for a reason, but actually there are many areas where they are vulnerable because they are so focused so I think it's having that team off the pitch as well as that team on the pitch to as we've heard today really leave them focused on putting it all on the pitch you know have the financials in place that should something happen you don't have to worry about can I pay the rent can I pay the mortgage and I think at the moment we're talking a lot about the mental health and the physical well-being but part of that is the financial well-being as well which will give people the time to breathe if something happens and be able to actually then say it's okay to step back and think about what my next move's going to be. 